Hello everyone, welcome to ABAP for Geeks. This is a new series called ABAP Hacks and Tips. So far we have discussed about a couple of topics. The first one is SC69, how to edit database tables in debugging mode and also how to find the change history, who had made the changes to that particular table from SC16N. We have used SC16N interface and also debugging mode. So if you haven't watched this, please go through my playlist called ABAP Hacks and Tips and you can find this video. The second topic that I have discussed was testing BAPIs or FMs using sequence option, which is an option available in SC37 where we can execute multiple BAPIs at a time to perform a single a successful transaction. And the third one, which is I'm going to discuss in this video called how to debug background jobs in ABAP. Few people are already experienced, they might have known this uh, trick, but for people who haven't got any idea how to debug background job, this video is going to be helpful. I will consider a basic scenario. There is a background job which is having issue and you want to find out the cause whenever we are working on any background job programs. Okay. The first thing is after the background job is executed and you can Go to SM37 and select that background job and we can debug there itself. And the second one is if you want to debug the program while executing in the background itself, you want to take the control of the program and debug that particular program in background job. That is what we are going to do in this video. Let's start. For our example, I have taken a very basic program called ZTest background, so which is a simple program which is having a parameter and a write statement, nothing much complex here. So what I will do is I will execute this program in background mode and I will try to debug the same. I know it doesn't make any sense to debug this very simple program, but for the sake of simplicity, I'm doing this. First, we'll schedule this program in background and for that i'll go to sm36 i'll create a step for this background job let me uh, define the background job name i will say gafc above for gigs one and i'll click on enter and it will ask for me the program name that i that i want to execute in background so this is my background job name you can click on about program and it will ask you to give the program name you can also provide the variant suppose here we have a parameter called i and if you want to give a variant as well while executing the program in the uh, background mode you can also do that you can simply provide the parameter here and save the variant give a variant name variant one test variant so this output will be given to the background job via this variant so this is my variant called var1 and I can provide the variant name here and click on enter and save it. Now one step is defined for my background job. So this is a program that I'm going to execute in background. Come back from here and save this. Now we need to define a start condition like when do you want to execute this program. So I want to execute this program immediately and I want to debug that so let me click on start condition and click on immediate now the immediate start is checked here and you can save this as soon as you define the start condition the program will not get uh, executed in background you have to save it so now I will save this program so my program has saved and also released so I can see the background job execution result in sm37 so this is my job name let me copy this i'll go to sm37 here i'll provide the background job name which is just now that i have executed and click on execute and i can see my background job here so when i click on the spool and this is the spool number which is generated for that background job. Now we'll click on the web list and I see the message which I have written in the program. If you want to debug this program, 
this is the a technique that we can use and select the job name in the command line you can simply type j d b g this is the four letter words you need to use here and you don't have to use any forward slash anything just select the job name and type these letters and click on enter directly the control will go to the debugging mode and here you can do a f7 you can go back till you reach your program i'm doing f7 f7 again so i came to my program and from here i can take the control and start debugging my program if you do not want to press f7 again and again and again you can simply put a session breakpoint in that program and directly you can click on f8 and the control will come here let me show you that quickly as well i'll keep a session breakpoint here i'll select the job name as usual j d b g enter just press f8 the program will directly stop at the breakpoint where you have defined this is how you can debug a program the problem with this approach is you cannot debug the program while it actually executing we are here in sm37 transaction because the background job is already executed how do you execute the program which is already running in background job you want to take the control over it for that we have to do a little trick here so the trick is here we have to provide an infinite loop how do i provide an infinite loop I can say a do and a do I will take a variable here if LV exit equal to 1 and we can come out of this loop what I'm actually doing here I'm doing a infinite loop here when the program is executed in background there is a processor will be running for this program so we need to catch hold of that processor and come to the debugging mode and we can change this variable to value one and we can come out of this loop and continue uh, with our execution of the program this is how we can take control over the program which is running in background mode using infinite loop so let me show you how it works I will create one more background job in SM36 and I'll execute it immediately and uh, we'll see how we can catch this process and I'll go to SM36 provide the background job name save it provide the program name you have defined the step Click on start condition, immediate, save and again click on save so that the program will start. Now the program has started and the process is running. Since we have written an infinite loop, the processor will continue executing that infinite loop and it will not move to the next step. So there we have to catch hold of it. How do we catch it? Go to the transaction SM51. and double click here and you can see the current processor which are running so here you see this is the one which you are running so this was our program right actually this is running here from here we need to go to our program how do we go to the program which is running in background so you select that processor this is our program a name of the program being executed by the work process and i'll select this row go to administration program debugging debug the selected program yes now one more session will open which will take me to the program so this was the which is an infinite loop which is running when you click f6 lv exit equal to one and still it is continuing so we need to come out of this loop and take control over our logic here so we have to come to the line 16 because it is an infinite loop we are not able to go there so for that we need to change the value of this one 
so now i can come out of this loop and i i came to the line 16 i took control over my program which is running in background using infinite loop so this is a trick that we need to use if you want to uh, debug the program while it is actually running not after the program is executed in the background so now i can debug my programs and i will do f8 and if i refresh here in the work processes so that process is finished when i go back to sm37 if i provide my program uh, job name f8 and i can see this program is completed this is how you can debug the programs in background jobs after the program is executed and as well while the program is executed in the background hope you guys find this useful and if you like this video please hit that like button subscribe to my channel it will encourage me to do more videos thank you so much for watching